Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I just had to stop. Ah! What do you think it means? Probably that that psycho wants to kill us. But do you think that you were just having a nightmare or something to do with Madison? I don't know. I don't exactly have a guidebook on this. What do you think, Meredith? Has anybody else had a different dream or nightmare? Not me. It's always the same thing. Great. I guess I'm just lucky. Have you learned any new clues? No. Well, just that Mrs. Whalen has serious anger issues. She killed you four very violently. Shelby, I wouldn't worry about it. It's not that. I just need to walk around. I don't think there's anything to worry about. I mean, the woman is dead anyways, right? You said Madison was born in 1928. Mrs. Whalen would be like 100 years old by now. I mean, I could take down a whole lady any day. That's good to know. <laughs> Well, what do we do then? Let's just keep sorting through all the birth records for every state and check every Madison born in 1928 and just keep the list going. And, and I'll continue ruling people mm. out. But we found 143 already. And she could be one of them. How are you sorting them? Can I help? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Michael? Get off. Excuse me, who are you? I'm Colin's foster father. And he certainly doesn't have permission to be here. Colton. I snuck out. So Look, what? I'm sure you're all really nice people. But my wife and I don't want Colton to have anything to do with this nonsense. We've already filed a report against Dr. Carlson. Get what? your things. We're going. Mr. Mr. Paulson. Your son has been a great asset to us. He's been very helpful. Now I agree that he shouldn't have come here without permission. But be rest assured he is in a safe place. I don't mean to be rude, ma'am, but that's my decision. Okay? This is not the place we're called. We're going. What are you doing here? <laughs> what do you want with us? Where, where do you have Madison? You'll never know. What are you doing? 
I'm looking at missing announcements from the 30s, mm. or at least any cold case information about missing young girls. Mm. Try and find anything that matches Madison's description. Have you found anything helpful at all? It's like the 30s never existed. I can't find anything. That's because the internet didn't exist yet. I know. Still, I wish there was a better database for missing children. Uh, I wish there were too. I mean, there must be people still looking for her, right? If Madison was alive today, she'd be in her late 80s. Maybe she has a family, maybe a sister. I don't know. I'd like to think that there's people out there that are still looking for her, at least have not forgotten. Well, hey, any word? Colton's foster father reported our therapist for breaking confidentiality. She's no longer at the practice, and she's under investigation. Did you find anything out about Colton? No. Oh, there you are, Greg. What? I had a nightmare last night. What happened? Mrs. Whalen was in my car. She tried to strangle me. Jesus Christ. What the hell do you think that means? I need a break. This is way too much to handle. No, 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 wait. Don't, don't go. I'll keep looking for Madison's. But I need to go home. And now we're back to three. shouldn't be a part of this. I'm never going back to those idiots. No! Are you out of your mind? Don't quit. I, I don't know what you've been doing those past few days, but it's been good for you. What? You're different. Different? In a good way. Mom, you didn't visit the graveyard in two days. to go back. Don't quit. But I can't do it. God, Mom, here we go again. You're doing so well. Don't fuck it up like you always do. Lizzie, don't say that word. Whatever. Lizzie! Maybe we need a new idea. Or maybe Colton's father was right when you told him to stay away from us. Oh, not you too. Don't give up. No, I'm not. I'm just burnt out. <sighs> I mean, we've been at this for a week and we've made no progress. I need a drink. I oh, know. <laughs> of water. Oh, good. good lord, you guys. Maybe we should tell someone. Maybe we should tell a journalist or something. Absolutely not. I mean, maybe there are other people having that dream and they can't find us. Maybe one of Madison's relatives is looking for her. I understand what you're saying, but they will lock us up in an insane asylum. Will they? Well, when you were doing the blog on this, I was really worried. I think anything more than that is really a bad idea. I don't know what else to do. I'm worried that everything that we're doing is a complete waste of time. Shelby. Sorry I was late. What's that? Did you know that there are only 48 families with a last name Wayland in New England? Only 48? I narrowed it down to five that are upper class and lived in 1938. Really? Yeah, I figure, why just look for Madison? Why not find Mrs. Wayland too? Mm -hmm. Don't you dare get me started, you meddling bitch! Get the fuck away from me! 
for me! I fucking warned you! Get your hands off me! Colton, are you okay? Oh God, Colton, you're trembling. What happened? What happened? Did you have another one of those dreams? Yeah, it was different. I, I thought. T I thought. Tell me, Colton. I just. Did that group help you? Sort of. Do you want to go back? Colton, you're a great kid. You're strong. You're very smart. You've got a very bright future ahead of you. I'm here to help you get there, and I want nothing but amazing things for you. And I hate to see you struggle. So what can I do? How, how can I help you? I want, I want to go back. Okay. I'm so done. I quit. We're supposed to be making headway. Now I'm even more confused. Don't get frustrated. It does no good. It, it only makes things worse. We need to find out where these families lived. What house did they own in 1938? Meredith, what was the architectural style? Georgian. Great. Let's find that house. I need to go to the bathroom. Listen, Helen. I don't think I can have this conversation, Greg. I don't know if I want to talk to you. You're, you're here, that's all that matters. And I'm two days sober. I'm back. You have permission? Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey, Helen. Hey, Shelby. So, do we make any progress while I was gone? Don't ask. I had the worst nightmare last night. Mm, we all pretty much have too. Any ideas why? Maybe she's upset that we're all investigating her. Who knows? Or maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Maybe we need to start thinking about exactly what is happening. I mean, how is she even doing this? Or more importantly, why did Madison choose all of us? I don't know. Are, are we connected to her? her? Are we, are we connected to each other? All that matters is that we're all here together. We're together under one roof. And we're not second guessing ourselves as if we should be here. We're enthusiastic and passionate about finding her. And I know we can do it. Madison on three. <laughs> no. Really, call me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> And then you go under and back and over and pull. You want to try it? You know, you remind me of my best friend. I do? Yeah, her name is Ruth. Ruth? Ruth Anderson? Yeah, do you know her? Madison, do you live near Wilford Court? I live one street over. What is it? What's the matter? 